Hey yogis, it's almost time for me to unveil my new yoga platform. So follow me on Instagram, Facebook, or subscribe to my Yoga with Carter newsletter to keep updated on uh, the launch of that new site. See you soon. Enjoy your practice. Peace. Namaste, yogis. I'm Carter, and today we're doing a 10-minute practice on um, nurturing and supporting the hamstrings. So let's get to our mat. Yogi. So we're going to do uh, three different asanas. Uh, they're all addressing the hamstrings and we're all going to do the same kind of thing, but I want you to bring your awareness to the difference between all of them. So the first one's going to be a forward fold. Now, if you're a little bit tight in the hamstrings, you may need a block or bolster and take your hands. But what I want you to start with is bent knees, belly, chest come towards the thighs and wrap your arms around the legs and you're going to squeeze so there's contact with the belly and the chest towards the thigh. So if you need to bend your knees a lot, go right ahead. And while you squeeze, I want you to bring your awareness to where you feel it. Now for me, with this really deep knee bend, I'm feeling it in the lower back and the, the hips. It's great, but we're trying to address the hamstrings. So what do we do? We start to lift the hips and straighten the knees. Automatically, I start to feel in the hamstrings. So squeeze again here. And I want you to bring your awareness to when we have bent knees, it's okay to have a rounded spine. If we lock the knees, we want to make sure that our spine is straight so there's not any compression or pulling on the lower back. So drop your arms and bend right knee, left knee, sway the hips. And I want you to bend and straighten the knees a little so you can kind of feel where that hamstring shows up. Now come up halfway, take the hands to just above the knees, and lock the knees. Now lift the heart and bring your awareness to your lower back. So if you're looking at the screen, um, my torso should look like a, like a table, right? Flat. Now. If you're tighter in hamstrings, this may be it. So you're thinking about bringing the belly button towards the thighs. If you're a little bit more, it's a little bit more available, take the hands below the knees under the shins, but keep lifting the heart. Now, one of the things that we do when we lock knees is the quadriceps become soft. So I want you to engage the quadricep that opens up the hamstring a little bit. And then if you still like you feel like you need more, walk the hands down the shins. Again, lifting the heart, the head's fairly neutral, and it's the belly button towards the thighs. Now, if you're really open, you can go to the floor, but I want you to maybe even notice that when my hands come to the floor and my knees are straight, my quadriceps are engaged, my back starts to round. So I can't get my palms down with a flat back. So that means hands to shins or ankles for me is about my limitation here. And then once you're here, you're just going to sway the torso a little bit from side to side. So you can start to feel the edges of the hamstrings. Keep in mind the hamstrings are like three big muscles, so we're kind of checking them all out. Give yourself another breath or two here. We can spend a lot of time in the hamstrings because they're so big and strong. So we're just giving ourselves a moment to let them heat up a little. Wherever you are, heel toe your feet out a little bit and notice the difference here. Then heel toe your feet together. If it's available, big toes touch. Bring your awareness to that sensation here. Walk your hands up your legs. Nice and easy. Come on up. Oh. And shake them on out. All right, so that's forward fold. So keep in mind when we are doing sun salutations, when you fold forward, it's always a good idea to keep the knees bent and straighten and flatten the back if you need to, and then go from there. Next, uh, asana, all the way to the ground, onto your seat. 
extend your legs out in front of you, shake them out. If you have a strap, it's always, if you're really tight in the hamstring, a strap is a good way to get into this pose as well. So let's start by moving the flesh from under the sit bones. It's same movement, but I want you to bring your awareness to the, the, the difference of sensation. We're going to start with the hands behind our back and we're going to squeeze the shoulder blades and lengthen. Now, just like we are standing, we're going to bring our big toes together to start with. There's a little bit of space in the heels. And then we're going to keep our spine straight. And we're going to bring our belly button towards our thighs. So we're going to press the hands down and we're going to come forward. So for me, it shows up much more intensely because now I can't do any really manipulation with the legs other than engaging the quadriceps. So my limitation is a little bit different. It's okay. If your shoulders pass your hips, you may be able to reach for the shins or maybe the big toes. But when I reach for the big toes, all of a sudden I start to feel the rounding of the spine and I want to lengthen. So I maybe, maybe get to my shins. So when I'm standing, I can get down to my ankles or toes. When I'm sitting, it's not available because now it's really showing up in my calves and the backs of the knees. So I want you to bring your awareness to that. So this is straight leg, straight back. You're engaging quadriceps still, so the kneecaps lift. Keep yourself breathing. We're just doing the, the opposite of uh, what we did when we were standing. So inhale, come on up, take the hands behind you. And then we're gonna bend the knees now, just like we did at the, the beginning. We're gonna take the arms underneath the legs and we're gonna squeeze the belly towards the thighs. We're gonna tuck the chin so the forehead comes to the knees and squeeze. So again, like we did in the standing poses, maybe you need to straighten the knees a little bit to get the sensation towards the hamstrings or the hamstrings attached to the glutes. So squeeze in here and give yourself a moment to kind of feel what's going on. Now, if you're feeling too much, let's say in the back of the knees or calves and you want to go a little more of the hamstrings, well then bend the knees more and squeeze again. So the arms are fairly active. Big inhale, slow exhale. Inhale, slowly bring yourself on up. Shake out your legs. All right, last version. We're going to lay flat onto our back. We're going to draw the knees towards the belly and chest. And we're going to do candlesticks. So we're going to extend the legs up towards the sky now. I find this the hardest because now the legs are free to do what they want. So to straighten and lock the knees, my feet have to come a little bit farther forward so I can lock them. So I want you to extend your feet towards the front of your mat, straighten and lock the knees, flex the feet a little bit. Now lift the legs up. And when they stop, they stop. If you start to feel your knees bend, do less. So now the back is forced to be flat and it's the legs that are getting the work. So if you like, you can take a strap around the toes or feet, or you can take the hands to the hamstrings and you can use the arms to pull a little bit more. So a moment to just kind of bring awareness to where this feels or where you feel it. <laughs> and now we're gonna bend the knees a little and we're gonna pull the legs a little bit closer towards us. Now what may ha end up happening is the lower back and tailbone come off the ground because the, the hamstrings may be a little bit tight. If you're flexible enough, you could reach up for the ankles or shins and grab them. Give yourself another breath here. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to do an internal, external rotation of the feet. So you may start to feel the sensation move around the backs of the legs or the hips in their sockets. So we're going to do an internal, external rotation. and then bend the knees, bring the knees towards the belly chest. Let's rock front to back and bring yourself up to a seat. We got one more thing we're gonna do. We're gonna extend and straighten the left knee and we're gonna bring the right foot inside the left thigh. So we're isolating one hamstring. Square the shoulders to the left foot. Same rules, if the knee is locked, the, f the back is flat, hinge forward. If that sensation is in the calf, back of the knee and hamstring and you'd like it a little higher up on the hamstring, bend the knee a little, a little rounding of the back, fold forward. So you always have two options, but I have very few rules, but when the knee is straight and locked, the back is flat. If you wanna round through the back, little micro bend in the knee, 
fold forward so the quadriceps engage. So bring your awareness to what that left hamstring feels like. We're going to see which one is more open. So find out where you are and what feels comfortable. And then inhale, come on up. Switch your legs. So straighten the right knee. Bend the left knee, left foot on the inside of the right thigh. Square the shoulders to that right foot. And hinge forward. So ease into it. Again, straight knee, straight back. Or bent knee, rounded back. And find out what's going on. So is your right hamstring or left hamstring more open? It's not good or bad. It's just it is what it is. My left hamstring is more open. Always has been. So what does that mean? It means that um, I need to spend a little bit more time on my right hamstring. doesn't mean I disregard the left hamstring. This is like I work on the right one because it needs a little bit more attention. And I explore it. I give it time. And keeping in mind when we work through the hamstrings, we're helping out the hips and the lower back. We're helping out the range of motion and our mobility. Inhale, come on up. Bend your knees, cross at the ankles. Nice long spine. Thanks for practicing with me today. Have a beautiful day. Namaste. Nice work, yogis. Hope the hamstrings are feeling open and available. If you like this practice, give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, leave it in the comment section below. And subscribe to my channel to keep updated on all the latest practices. See you soon. Take care of yourself. Love you guys. Peace.